So, uh, Jake, huge win after a long break. So, uh, how does it feel to win such an important game? Yeah, it's a, a step in the right direction. Um, you know, we still have a lot of work to do, but uh, we put ourselves in this position. So, um, all we can do is keep trying to work our way out. Yeah, uh, you know, you don't really score that much goals. Boleslav doesn't score many goals either. So, it kind of showed in the game. Was one goal game uh, uh, extremely tough, uh, especially for you as a defenseman? Yeah, it was it was a tight game. Uh, they skate well, and um, you know, got a few chances early. And I think uh, Bozy held us in there and gave us a chance to find our legs and um, you know, get our feet under us after the break. And um, you know, if they would have scored those two breakaways early, who knows what uh, what would have been the outcome? But um, again, we're we're taking these points and uh, running with them. So it was even a, I would say, a rough game, a kind of war battle. Uh, are you that kind of? Guy who, who likes those those games when uh, you know you really get uh, get under their skin and uh, you, you really have some big hits or something like that. Yeah, I think um, you know those games are they're fun. Uh, it's kind of why you play hockey is you get your emotions going and um, you know see where they take you sometimes. And uh, I, I wouldn't say I don't like that style of game. I I kind of grew up playing that way and. Um, Kind of fell into more of a f offensive role when I came over here, but um, yeah, I still still love that side of the game, and uh, I, you know I'm re I'm ready for for anyone. So uh, your goal uh, in the 59th minute was it like a redemption for you after being sent out for for the penalty five five six minutes time? Uh, I, I kind of was scared that we could lose the game easily, but then you came back and and decided the game brought it home. So uh, how did it feel? Yeah, it felt good. I, I'm. I don't really know how much I should say about the call. Um, I obviously disagree with it. Um, I'm obviously six foot three. That guy's five foot eight, and I push him with one hand, and he goes to the ice. I don't know how much of a roughing it is, but um, yeah, it felt good to come back and you know get a chance to redeem myself, like you said, and um, you know help the help the team win. And I was definitely a bit worried myself there when I. I went to the box, but um, you know the hockey gods were on my side today, so we'll take it. Do you guys follow the table? Because uh, uh, Budjovice lost today, Litvinov was uh, two nothing down. Y you won, so especially important uh, three points for you. Yeah, I'm not not really looking at the table too much. Uh, you know, I, like I said, we we, we kind of put ourselves in this situation where we we have our backs against the wall, and um, all we can do is you know keep playing, trying to play the right way, and getting points and. Um, you know, after these next six games, we'll see where we're at. And uh, if we can bring efforts like we did tonight and, you know, guys keep things simple and, you know, we, we play like we can and like we have, then, um, you know, I think there's a chance that we can find our way out of this position. And the question I must ask is Jigger's 51th birthday. So uh, how does it feel to, to play with him still going up and strong in uh, 51 years old? So what do you think about that? Yeah, he's obviously um, very well known everywhere around the world, if you know hockey. And um, I grew up and he was one of the greats and still obviously is. So to be able to play with him, um, it's pretty special for sure. And, to, you know, get him a win on his birthday, it's something I think everybody in that room wanted. And um, we did it. So, uh, you know, don't think about this one for too long. We still got a lot of work ahead, but um, on to the next one and uh, another big game for us.